So we're just going to do a demonstration or video on fitting the thermal camera bracket to the seven inch power beam made by Wild Game Innovations Australia. And I have my little offside here today, my beautiful little daughter, she'll be helping me fit the bracket. So the tools you'll need is a 13 mil socket and a 13 mil spinner and an M3 Allen key. And to wire it up, you'll need a really good quality and good Deutsch plug pliers. We use the Deutsch plugs because we found that they're the best thing to use as far as getting a great connection without getting any contamination in there with the weather. We also provide this grommet. You can put through the roof of your buggy and you can run all your power cables and your hardwired leads through it instead of trying to fit it through the spotlight handle. You can also put this through the roof of the vehicle if you want. Some people won't want to do that and other people will. It's just an option we have. So we're just giving you a rundown, it'll come with the Deutsch plug. Those are the tools you need. The bracket is, there's two different types. There's the HID and there's the Halogen. They're just a little bit different shaped in the back because the HID has a big plastic cap on the back of the light. So I'm quickly gonna run you through fitting it. Step one, you need to remove the spotlight handle quick release base plate. The kit will come with two of these, so you can bolt either one. If you want two vehicles, you can put one on your buggy or your side by side and one on your car. So you'll remove that, and I've done it earlier, and you'll remove the four M3 Allen key bolts and the two M8, that's an M8 bolt through there, they're 13 mil spanner. Remove the nuts and that assembly in, in there, in the bracket. And then you have to get this dead right, this part guys, because it's such a tight compact unit. You need to go for the M8 bolt facing upwards with a washer. And then you need to go a washer, a spring washer, an M8 nut and then just sit the DC converter mount on top for now. We don't have it done up top, we have it so you can adjust it and move it around to get it all into place. Okay, so the next step we do, once we up, we've unclipped our springs, make sure the springs are facing forward, is we sit the lead over the top of the light. So you can run your hard light leads or your HDMI lead through, through the top of the bracket in the halogen. And on the HID, it just wraps around the side, goes around the plastic nut, so you can run your Type-C lead. That, that powers your thermal up one side and your hard wide leads up the other. So you just make sure that's in the right place. Simply put your bracket over the top of the light. Make sure the lead isn't interfering with it, depending on what sort of camera you got where you want the lead to come out. We've got multiple holes in different sections so you can get this to come out in the correct spot so everything's uniform. And then once we have it sitting on there nice and snug, we have that edge parallel with the front and that the front of the bracket parallel with the front of the light. We want this hugging the light nice and gently and when it hugs and it's nice and firm, it can't rub the paint off because it can't vibrate to move. So then we simply put our four, put our M5 bolts in with our M3 Allen key tool. I don't want this video to go on forever, so I'm just doing it as quick as I can, guys. Put four of those in. This is an awesome little setup. The seven inch power beam we working on it for a long time we wanted to get the quick release mount on the bottom just so that it's we can really push our products being a investment for you guys so you don't have to buy two spotlights and two thermal camera brackets you can have one system that will work for all your needs so once you get that on there you then put your open-ended 13 mil spanner on the inside of the bracket, underneath the DC converter. And you get it all into place. Make sure everything's nice and straight. And you put your 13 mil socket over the back and do that up firm. And you just wanna make sure that those that's straight in there with the bracket so it all looks nice and 
presentable. And once we get that guys, then we just put the, we have one more M8 nut that sits on top of the converter. So as you can see, the converters are, just fits in there. So we put the nut on top of there. Excuse my fingers. I'll just get it on there, Luke. It's a bit hard with the camera. So you can see I just got the M8 nut on top. And then we just push that mount back as far as it can go that way. So it's sitting up against the edge of the, the actual remote mount in the light. And we just get a 13mm spanner inside and simply do that up. Once you get that up, nice in position. We then hook the springs off over the front. So we loosen. Just loosen this up so it's got a bit of play. So simply hook your springs on over the front. And you have one assembled thermal camera bracket. And you just go over to your vehicle, just if, when that's bolted onto the spotlight handle, simply one side like so. Wire like so. your four pin Deutsch plug in with your power and earth going from your DC converter and your power and earth going from your light, and run them through to your battery with however system suits you best. Rightio, guys, thank you.